Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Google rich results and how to add them to your website to improve its SEO. Uh, I've got an example up on the screen here at the moment. I've done a search here for cake recipe and these initial hits here are enhanced. They're using rich results. Google is able to do this because these sites will have had it added structured data embedded on their page that, that details this information. This isn't being pulled simply from indexing the page, you know, the headers, the paragraphs, the titles. This is um, explicitly provided by the website author. Without that, you would be getting a normal link like this one here, just, um, just the link and a description. Are we looking at the one above here again? There's a different format of rich result here. It's in this standard technique, but it's actually got the image coming up on the right and it's got this rating down here as well. So you don't necessarily know how Google will interpret the structured data and will it give you a rich result. But if you've got that on your page, you've certainly got a chance. Um, so how do we go about adding that? Well, before we do, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below uh, and you'll get updates for future videos. Okay, so First place I'm going to go, I'm going to put a, um, all these links that I'm going to use will be in the description below. The first place is just to grab an example bit of structured data that we can add to our site. So I've got one here for cakes. It's on the Google website. Uh, if I scroll down, you well, that one's quite straightforward. We'll go down to this one, which is a little bit better because I want to have a few more things. So I'm just going to grab this whole page here. It's got our structured data in here, which is JSON. Um, so we need a script tag. We need to set it to application LD, which is linked data plus JSON. And we need to provide it in this format. Now, this schema is defined on schema.org. And we just need to make sure that we follow that. Um, right, so I've got this copied. Let's paste it into um, a web page here and then just view that locally on our PC. Uh, did I save that? Oh, yeah, I've, I haven't, that one hasn't got um, the actual HTML. Let's have some, just add some HTML in here as well. So that was just the structured data. So you're pretty much duplicating what you've got on your page, but you're putting it in this structured format as well. Um, you, one point to note here is you can't have like multiple ones. You can only have one item per page uh, and it needs to match what is on the page as well. Um, so I've pasted that in. I'll grab the image as well, actually, just so that we can see that coming up. So if I have image here, like so, and if we look at that page now, okay, so here's our page that we would like to provide rich results for. We've got the information on there now. This is what we've got. We've got the context. We've given it the type, which is recipe. So there's there's lots of types on schema.org, but it needs to note that not all of them are supported by a Google. So we'll come back to that in a second, but you know, you'll be able to provide fields like the name, the author, an image, a description, um, and you know, even down to the actual recipe down here, uh, you know, how long it takes. So these are all defined fields that Google knows will be there. So you can't add your own fields. You've got to, you've got to follow what is available on schema.org for this type, for this recipe. Uh, and there's only certain ones that are supported. Um, if I go back here, and I can go to supported rich types. So it's, again, this is on support.google, uh, and I will put these links down in the description, but here's the ones that you're allowed to use. Um, so there's about 20 or so, 30 here. We're using recipe down here, and let me make it a bit bigger. Uh, we're using recipe down here. You know, you can fit quite a lot of things into product. Uh, and the others, again, might be more or less specific. So if you can fit your product into one of these, you're good to go. Otherwise, you might need to wait until Google expands this list. Uh, okay, so how can we check that this is working? You know, you, you can put that structured data on, but you need to know, have I got it right? And now Google provides uh, a test page for this as well. 
So I can go to rich results test and I will be able to put my URL in here. Okay, now at the moment this is just on my PC. I need to push this up into Netlify so we can add that in. So I can do a deploy here. Um, Netlify deploy current directory and broad. And hopefully that will just put our page up for us. Right, so I've got a URL that I can use now. So I'll grab that. Um, let's come in here and we can just view that. So we can see our cake here. That looks good. Now I go into the rich results test and I paste that in and do test URL. And this will enable you to see A, is there any problem in there? And B, then we can preview the results as well. So I can see it's got two valid items. It's got some warnings. Um, we can look at those. So Here's our, it's, so it, it knows we've got a recipe here. Let me make it a bit bigger again. Um, so it's detected um, apple pie by grandma. Um, and if I go in there, it's given us yeah, some information, uh, the warnings, uh, which is fine. You know, you, you might want, they're, they're optional. You might want to add these fields in, but you can see the ones that it's picked up. It's got the type, it's got the name, um, it's got the image there. Um, yep, yeah, so all of that stuff that we put on the page is detected properly. Now, if I scroll back up to the top here, we can do preview results as well. Um, just close that down there. So let's do preview results. <laughs> and if I just make it a bit smaller, then we can see what Google might put up based on that page so we can see here that it's yeah it might put a nice rich result up for us with the image uh, the review the time to cook uh the rating um and so and and it does a few different types so there might be more types down here to show you again how it might look in certain situations we've just got two different results there pretty similar but that shows us that our rich result is being detected uh, and should work uh, if anyone did search for this page. Um, so, there you go. Uh, structured data, rich text results. Need to add it to your website if you want to be able to get these lovely results coming back. Uh, hope that was interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down if not. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, catch you next time. Bye.